Hey everyone, Joellen here. Welcome to Portrait Class. Today, I'm going to show you a traditional underpainting, or at least my version of a traditional underpainting. So you may be wondering what an underpainting is. For me, an underpainting is kind of like a road map of shapes and values. Traditionally, I use an umber, either raw or burnt, and I use some of my OMS, my Odalis Mineral Spirits, or Gamsol to thin out my paint. I like to think of an underpainting somewhat like a watercolor. Today's demonstration is a master copy by French painter Jean Ang. I chose this piece for several reasons, one being that I really like how the background and the hair and the outfit kind of blend together and the shadow shape on the face really blends into the background as well. And there's a great sense of light on the left side and um, this clear eye and features. This video is the first of three parts. Here is a list of materials I'll be using for the next three demonstrations. Okay, let's get going. Begin by staining my canvas with what we call an imprimatura. I'll use a little bit of my OMS combined with some raw umber and a little bit of transparent oxide red. I'll then take and wipe off a lot of the paint so I have a nice light tint on my canvas. Using a medium flat brush and that same paint combination, I'll now begin a block in of my portrait. I'll look for basic shapes that best describe the overall form. You may be more comfortable drawing this out first. I'll continue with that same combination, filling in dark areas such as the hair and the shadow shapes. my brush with some Gamsol, I'll then start to adjust some of my shapes to get a better form. When I'm fairly happy with my form and overall structure, I will fill in the background. It's okay right now if my portrait doesn't look exactly like the master copy. Um, I'm looking for human and I think I'm pretty good. At this stage, I lightly soften my work with a fan brush. I'll next fill in the shadow shapes on the right hand side and I'll also fill in any darker areas of the features.
I can see I made the eye too big and it needs to be adjusted. So I'll continue just to move my paint around with my brush. to make slight adjustments and observations. Use my towel to blend and wipe out areas. If you don't want to use a shop towel, you can use an old piece of clothing. I suggest something cotton and lint free. I know my husband is always looking for his old t-shirts that I've used or turned into rags.
In oil painting, we have this rule called fat over lean. And the underpainting serves as the lean layer, meaning that it's very thin and it dries very quickly. This way, my painting will avoid any cracking um, as I add on subsequent layers. Since the underpainting dries fairly fast, I do have to make sure that I'm fairly happy with the end result. Um, if I wait until the next day, I won't be able to make any changes to my painting. I hope you found this demonstration very helpful and informative. Again, this is one of three parts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.